In today's instructional video, I'm going to be showing you how to program your EFI-ESC. So, in this programming, you can either do auto break-in or the break-in is off. So, it won't do it for you. So, what you have to do is you go full throttle on your transmitter, turn on your transmitter, and then you connect your battery. So, after it does that, you wait a little bit more. All right, after it does that, you go to uh, mid throttle, halfway. After it does that, you wait a little bit more. Okay, now you go to full throttle again. All right. You wait a little bit longer. Okay, now you go to halfway throttle again. Alright, so at this point, you can either choose between auto braking or braking off. To do auto braking, you just have to go up and leave it there, and then you turn it off. Or to go to take the braking off, auto braking, you just have to go down like this. And that's all. So now there, and now it's um, configured. So you have to take your battery off. Wait, um, at least uh, not too much, around 15 seconds. All right, so I'm gonna be putting uh, how to do this in the description. It's pretty easy. You just have to turn on your um, transmitter and pull full throttle. Then you turn on your uh, battery, you go midway, full throttle again, midway, and then you enter the programming mode. And then you go um, you go completely down for auto braking off, or you go completely up for auto braking. So now I can connect it up. So one thing with eFlight ESC, be sure that when you connect your ESC after this program that you are all the way down in your throttle stick. Be sure to do that before you turn on your battery. Because if you don't do that, if you're up here um, in half stick, you can, uh, your ESC is not going to be programmed anymore. And you're going to have to do this again. Alright, so now it's programmed. Alright, so this is pretty much it for today's video. This is um, a way to program your C for eFlight. And in tomorrow's MakerBot video, I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be showing you um, the MakerBot heating up and how to connect it up to your computer. If you have a MakerBot, how to use it for the first time to use Replicator G, which is a program that. Um, that controls the MakerBot. And then on Friday, I'm going to be um, building the wing for the Hellcat right here and then on uh, the flying video I'm gonna be flying this again alright so if you wanna see all the upcoming videos so you have to click the button up here